Hey guys, it's Archie Luxury. How are you guys? And today I'm on the Paul Pluto channel and I'm doing a paid review. This is paid review 21QB151. Quick wrist watch check. Mill Gal C Blue. And this here is a paid review. Let's just jump straight in. This is for Kyle. This came in just before Christmas. Hi Arch, what's the date? What's the date today? The date today is six. It's okay. So yeah, this, this takes a two week. Yeah, that's okay. That's that's, that's in the the KPIs are fine. Hi Arch, thanks for advice on finding the Omega Seamaster 300 that Daniel Craig wore in Casino Royale. I found one on Chrono24 that was in America and listed by someone that seemed very trustworthy, so I grabbed it. I attach a picture of the watch. My first question is about bracelet links. I see that there are half links for the Seamaster stainless bracelet that I would like to try to better size this. Do you know of a good place to find things like that online? He's talking about bracelet links. Uh, and second question is, my second question is about watches you might consider garbage. I've been looking at watches in racing style for a while and don't like a, a lot of what I see from Rolex or Omega. The Speedmaster doesn't really do it for me at this time. There are some Panda Breitling chronographs that are okay, but what do you think about some of these? Uh, now he's he sent me he sent me a, a, a link it says Ferro time makes racing inspired watches some quartz and some mechanical um, like this golf style watch uh, Autodrome makes 80s inspired stuff uh, and a third bit of garbage is the quartz chronograph from Rogue I know from an investment and collection perspective these watches pieces would be worthless but sometimes even if you have a beautiful wife and sexy mistress you still occasionally visit the local massage parlor do you know what I mean we all have different and complex needs thank you and Merry Christmas Kyle so Kyle thank you so much for getting a another paid review done so firstly links links now let me just tell you about links Kyle Dealers hate selling links to customers who haven't bought the watch from them. Okay, dealers hate it because that's just not the way it works. Link customers are a real pain in the ass. And most dealers won't sell you links. They will pinch links, but they won't sell you links because they keep those links for their own customers. <clears throat> now, for you, if someone rang me, if I was in the watch business, I'd say, sorry, I don't have that link. I wouldn't sell. Man, a link customer, what are you going to get? 50 bucks a link, and then they're a pain in the ass. It doesn't fit. Can you? Oh, Jesus. It's just, it's wasting my time. So my honest opinion is on links. Links. You know what? You need links, what do you do? Two choices. You either find out what link you need and have a look on eBay, Flea Bay, or you go to Amiga and you basically pay and get it ordered and done. That's it, man. There is no cheap way for links. Dealers hate people who haven't bought a watch from them but want links. Man, man, that is, uh, yeah. Yeah, and I, I gotta tell you, link customers are the biggest pain in the ass you could ever find. So, I've I i I'd, uh, I've learned my lesson as well. I really would very seldomly sell a link to somebody because they're they're kind of like plastic, but a bigger pain in the ass. Next question. Okay, so. Let's be honest here. You're as stingy as they come there. You bought a second-hand Omega Daniel Craig a Bond watch. You want a discount on links, and now you want to you want some filler. 
everybody goes through this phase. And the reality is the cool watches that we want, they're bloody expensive and they're hard to get. So what do I think of these micro brands and that they're, well, look, look. I personally don't have anything against the micro brands. Uh, I think if you want something cool and trendy, they're a great, and you don't have a lot of money, they're a great way to play around. However, just realize the value retention of a lot of these watches isn't terribly good. Now, that's perfectly okay. That's perfectly okay because you don't really have a lot of money to start with. You want a deal and this is a cheap way to get in and explore this hobby. So my advice to you is that's fine. There's nothing wrong with uh, getting links. Sorry, getting uh, getting micro brands. But just be sensible about it. If you get too involved in it, what happens is, well, you end up spending enough money you could have got something decent in a good brand for. So, you know, I've I, I got to be honest with you. All of these, Mike, I have never even heard of half this garbage you mentioned here. Okay, I haven't even heard of this garbage. But... You know what, if you want to have, you've got your Omega, you're on a limited budget, and that's exactly, reading between the lines here, that's exactly, you, you want a deal on links, you want a deal on an Omega, yeah, man, come on, I understand, you're not earning big bucks, fair enough, fair enough. The micro brands, you know what, that might be really good for you, okay, that might be what you want to pursue. And it's not my business to say that it's garbage or it's wrong. You've got to work this out. There's some really cool stuff in the micro brands that if they were Rolex or a decent brand would be expensive. Even Breitling, you mentioned Breitling there. Let's be completely honest there. You mentioned the Panda Breitling. <clears throat> Can you afford that? Really? Do you have the money for that? Really? Would you be prepared to spend all your money, put it on a credit card to get the Panda uh, Breitling? Is that what you want to do? See, I don't think you do. I think you want to talk the talk, but when it comes to walking the walk, uh, that's just not the way it is. So, in all honesty, I completely get it. Watch it. This is an expensive hobby, man. This is dear shit. Uh, is there anything wrong with the things you've mentioned? No, no, I don't see anything wrong at all with that stuff. But don't be fooled. You've got to be sensible about this. And as long as you go into this area of the hobby with your eyes wide open, you'll be okay. It's okay. I, there's nothing wrong with buying micro brands and playing around because the better brands, they're bloody expensive. And and I, I, I completely get it, man. I get it. I get it. I get it. I had a small tie-in. I, I did a bit of promotion for Undone. They had that. It was a very much a Speedmaster case with a Seiko Quartz movement. I thought, gee, that's a... I got a lot of flack for it. People called me out. But you know what? I thought, you know, that that's pretty cool. It was, it was a cool-looking retro it was funky as fike you know but i don't think there's anything wrong with dabbling but you know it's like going to the brothel you don't want to admit to it in public you don't want to admit to it you don't want to put it on your resume hey i visit the brothel or hey i got a thing for that 55 year old hooker you you want to keep that to yourself okay you want to keep that to yourself. And I would seriously, I'd just be careful with that. That's the only thing I would say there. Just be cool, careful, 
that's that's kind of the best way to go. Just be cool and careful with it. That's what I would be doing. So, yeah, that's kind of how I think it goes there. Um, I don't think... <clears throat> Man, I, 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 I just think it's like going to the brothel if you've got a, a beautiful wife or girlfriend. You don't want to admit to it. You want to keep it you wanna keep it secret. And that's the same thing with micro brands. You don't wanna you don't wanna become an advocate for it, you know. It's it's kinda of like porn. It sticks to your reputation forever. Guys, I hope you like this paid review. Like, subscribe and tell your friends. I will see you in the next one. Please get a paid review done. Please, 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 50 US dollars. It helps me stay on YouTube because Google Ads pays really poor. It pays really poor. Guys, I will see you in the next one. Yeah.